Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Hey, listen, let me show you this quick hack. I want to try to make it as quick as possible. If this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm always doing these different hacks, just trying to find ways to help you increase your bottom line for your business. Now uh, listen, all right, so I want to make this really, really quick. What you have in front of you now is an article. It's called The Role of Real Estate in Retirement Planning. And you might say, OK, so what is this about, Jenny? What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the quickest hack that I've I've seen in a long time. Um, I think sometimes we struggle with trying to get content out or trying to be consistent with the content that we do. Um, I think a good content sharing um, social media platform is LinkedIn. You're always sharing different articles and things of that nature. But this is one uh, I found this tool. It's called um, it's called uh, Snipply, and um, they had a deal on it a while ago, and I just haven't had time to unlock it and get into it. But let me show you the power of it and what it could do. So this particular website I'm looking at is called The Street. Um, it is uh, thestreet.com, which is a very powerful um, website for retirement planning, right? And so I found this article. It's called "The Role of Real Estate Retire." The Role of real estate and retirement planning. So let me show you what I did with this. I'm not going to say that I hijacked this site. I'm not going to say that I hijacked the domain authority for this site. But yeah, that's kind of what I did. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this site to catapult my own site that has no authority. So let me show you how that looks. So this is my one of my sites, right? This is retirementchat.com. Um, it's not ranking, right? Cause it's not really, I haven't designed it for, to be a ranking site. I really designed it to be a, a helping site and I'm trying to get it to rank. I'm starting it from scratch. I started it from ground zero, but I can't get there fast enough, right? I don't have enough backlinks and all the other stuff. So this is a, a tool it's called moz.com. It's a free, uh, uh, SEO, uh, domain authority. So when it comes to domain authority, it's like, if you don't have any domain authority on your particular name or particular um, website, then when you share it on social media, social media is not going to give it as much love because they don't trust the site because it doesn't have any type of credibility or authority established with it. Who are you to say that you're the authority in this discipline? Right. And you don't have any domain authority. So when I put in retirementchat.com, I analyze this bummer, no data found for this domain, right? And I just got this domain. I'm trying to do some other things with it, but right now it is raw, but I want to drive traffic to it to actually get people to come there, right? So let's look at the streets authority, right? The, the site I just talked about. So that the, the street.com has domain authority of 89, right? It's got uh, 371,000 ranking keywords, linking root domains, 133,000. These are the comparison, 89 compared to Google, which is 100, obviously, because they're Google, right? Some of your highest ranking ones are LinkedIn, Microsoft, Mozilla, Cloudflare, right? 99, 98, uh, and so on and so forth. The street has 89, which is pretty darn good, right? It's pretty good versus, you know, having zero, right? I have zero. There's this 89. How could I get my stuff to show up when um, I have no authority? I've tried to share links. They don't get any love. They don't get any any visibility on your your Facebooks or your LinkedIn's because they're not trusted because, you know, I have zero um, domain authority. Now, I, I do have another program that I'm working with and I just started trying to build a domain authority and trust me that's going to take a while but i wanted to, how do i get there faster right so in comes a tool called snipply right and let me show you how this works snipply is a tool here that it is a tool that takes your actual takes your actual uh message and if i wanted to share this article so let's go back to it right I want to share this article, right? It's going to get love because it's going to say retirement planning, uh, the role of real estate and planning, right? So I can share this in my retirement. Um, uh, I can share this on my retirement page. 
that's in LinkedIn, or I can share this on my real estate page. It really depends on what call to action that I want. So if I want a call to action for people to look at trying to do some real estate investing and take one of my courses, I could share this and use that call to action. If I want someone to, to learn more about real estate investing, I can actually share that call to action. The best part and the beauty of it is I can use either brand that I want to. Let's go to my brand profiles, right? So we'll go here. I can set up with this particular setup. I can set up five profiles, right? And this is a retirement chat is the one that I set up here that I want to use. And I just want you to see how it works. This I'll do another video of a full walkthrough of this tool. I just need you to take a look at this tool. This tool is killer, right? And so what I do is I create a call to action on this tool, right? I want people to take advantage of this. And this is my actual call to action. When I share that link, I want them to see this at the bottom. This is my call to action. I want them to see my logo, as you can see here. And I want to, hey, retirement chat, chat with a retirement expert. And then I put now, or I can just put click here, right? So I just put now there, right? Just in case somebody wants to see that article that I just shared and they want to share it and they want to click and review my page now. So here's what happens when I actually share that link in LinkedIn, which is where I'm going to share that link. Look what happens here. You could see right here, any link that I share, any link that I share from a high domain profile, you're going to see my call to action show up on it regardless, right? So what I have here is I actually have my link and I have a link to my call to action here. It could be a purchase page, could be a learn more, could be a about page here, or it could be a converted landing page. And I'm going to show you what happens when it looks there, but any, so as soon as I share this article, which has a high domain of 89, right? It's going to get shown in LinkedIn because LinkedIn says, oh, the street, we know them. We like them. They're good. I'll share their link. As soon as the person goes there, they're going to read this article and say, man, the role of real estate replying. They said, oh, oh, wait a minute. What is this? Right. They're going to click on this, right? Click on now, right? What happens when they click on now, right? Boom, right? They come to my website they learn more they set up a retirement appointment this is golden i have never seen anything like this now i want to i'm a tool it's going to blow your mind uh i just got that i'm going to put that video up maybe in the uh, next day or two how i hacked it with another tool that i have here in my um in my tech stack that's going to make it double down in gold so again this is this is a tool called uh snipply i'm going to put a link to it in the um, description box. I think one one, um, one tier is really all you need. I'm gonna go back and max stack this because I think I can get 30 brands on a max stack. I think it's about 200 bucks, uh, but you only need one. Um, you really only need, let's see here. Um, I think you only really need one tier, 69 bucks here. This is an AppSumo deal here they have here. You really only need one tier, but if you can get, I'm going to go ahead and get three tiers because I like having a 30 brands because I can have multiple brands and share multiple articles with this particular setup. Listen, this has been Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. This is a killer um, um, type of tool. I've never seen this before. I think it's been out for a while, but anything that's going to hack me and allow me an opportunity to use another, another, um, another domain and move to the top. I think that's killer, right? And let's look at their domain authority. Let's see what their, do their domain authority is um, 76, right? Which is not bad, right? But that's the URL that you'll use. You'll use a snipply. 76, again, is better than zero, right? So if you needed to use, you're gonna get, you're gonna get this domain authority by sharing this particular one, and you're gonna get their domain authority, which is two, which are pretty good. Um, so yeah, this is a good look. We need to take a look at it. Snipply. Hey, if you like this hack and if you're going to use this in your particular tech stack, Hey, show your boys some love, use my link. Um, and you can, it, there's a 60 day trial. If you don't like it, Hey, just return it. But I think you're going to find that this particular, um, tool is pretty nice. There's a lot of other tools that walk you through it. I'm just trying to show you how to use it in your business. And of course you get your tracks traffic sources, click links, conversions, 
uh, all of those types of things there. All right, and then you can set it up to where you can have, if you have, um, I think there's some integrations in here that you can do RSS feeds, embed on websites, and you can get your verified conversions there to just show you how all that works out. This is a pretty nice tool. It's very mature, no bugs that I can see of. I hope you guys be well. You guys take care. Goodbye for now.